superhero group here. I'm Junior, uh, and I'm, I'm about to do a Gordon Ramsay video. This is Fishing for Conger Eel. Could have said that wrong, Conger Eel. Alright, let's go ahead and play. Conger Eel. They're sustainable and delicious, but sadly, looks pretty cool. To eat them because it's so fucking ugly. <laughs> I thought it looked cool. I loved having an aquarium with one. I love aquariums. Thousands of them live in the sea around Britain, and it's a waste not to eat them. They seem tough, though, to eat. You know what I mean? He's one of the few people I could find who seems like he'd be so chewy. And he sells it in his fish and chip shack. Where's that song with your haircut? Oh, God, he looks like Gordon Ramsay. Like Duran Duran. <laughs> oh, these are saltwater. What? 100 pounds? I don't fucking believe them. Seems huge. often live inside wrecks, so heading out to sea to fish over one. Seems like it would be. I wonder how long they've been out there at this point. Jesus Christ, they're so strong. Oh, there it is. Oh. Jeez. Fantastic shit. <laughs> what size is that? That's casserole size, I call it. Bloody hell. That's not bad, is it? Not bad at all, no. God, they're so strong. Oh. We'll uh, go absolutely right Fantastic. now. Yeah, I think if you just... Straight across there. These buggers can really bite, so the quickest and most humane way to kill them is to sever their spinal cord. That's it. That's it. Yeah, that's brutal. You got him. <laughs> you got him. Bouillabaisse is one of my favourite French fish dishes, but I want to create a British version using conger to show Dave and his customers that this eel can be even more delicious. So we'll season it first, okay, and start the process of a conger eel bouillabaisse. I would try it after Gordon prepares it, but I don't know if I'd eat it normally. Just just conger, pure conger, olive oil, then add a little black pepper, salt, and saffron. Boil it in, skin side down, into the pan. And this one, we're going to start getting the vegetables going. Nice hot pan, add some olive oil, fennel, carrots, celery, and star anise. Crush a whole garlic, add a handful of shallots, and lastly, cayenne pepper. That puts a little bit of heat inside the soup. That really helps the soup. That looks good right there. So you can take that out, we've got a colour there. That's all we wanted on there. More cup of noodles on the menu for me. Support me on Patreon, guys, so I could eat. <laughs> Just joking. That does look good. I just feel like it's in a taste so fishy, though. Potatoes, fresh tomatoes, basil, and parsley to finish the dish. Cook it out for 20 minutes, and then I'm going to blend it. All right. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Yes, look at the soup. Chips is off the menu, yes? Can we try? Yeah, Looked better before it's blended, I think. I could have just ate it like that. Tastes like trout. We love conga. 
it's so frustrating that we do not eat enough conger eel. So please start buying it because in there they clearly loved it. It may be ugly. I know they want you to eat a lion fish too. It's always fun to see Gordon do some stuff. What else does he have? I always love looking at the recommended after I watch a video because it's always tons, tons of stuff just based on what you watch. First effort buffalo, king crab. <laughs> I gotta be honest, I don't think that would taste good. It was looked, I just think it has such a distinct taste, you know what I mean? Some fish just is so strong. He did mix a lot of stuff in it though, just for some soup. Although I guess it didn't take long, he just kind of chopped stuff up. Eh. Conger eel. From the F word. I don't know what that is. Is that like a show he does? He has so many shows. How many shows does Gordon have? He's got to be so freaking rich. <laughs> it seems like he has like 20 shows. Kitchen hell. Hotel hell. Kitchen nightmares. Um... The show with the kids, Kitchen Nightmares for Kids, I don't know what it's called. Uh, what else does he have? The F word, I guess. I'm not sure what that is. Someone told me he had a talk show, too. Maybe that's... It could be this, the F word. I'm not sure. His YouTube channel has 8 million subscribers, though. Oh, shit, I'm getting a phone call. Alright, guys, I'll see you on the next one.